Hi friends, I'm back with a new video. Welcome to English Guru Campus. In this video, I'm going to talk about a serious thing. Most of my students, most of my, most of my friends ask me whenever I give them a listening practice and I, I, I always suggest them uh, to do more listening practice than speaking practice. So they always ask me like, Jasin, why do you give such activities in the form of audio books, video lectures? Why do you give these kind of activities? And even some people ask me like, you know, do you think we are kids? Okay. So in this video, I want to make it so clear to you guys, what is the importance of uh, listening and what, what is the right way? What is the right method? to do the listening practice okay so i would really suggest you to watch this video completely and i, I am sure that you won't regret it so first of all let's talk about communication skill as you all know if we work on it it will definitely improve if we want to improve our communication skill we have to work on it as i i have already told you in, uh, in my previous videos that is if you want to improve your English if you want to become a fluent English speaker there is no shortcut and we had discussed about the you know several types of practices listening practice speaking practice reading practice whatever practices okay so we had discussed and I had told you there is no such shortcuts to become a fluent English speaker. You have to practice. Okay. So coming to communication skill as when we take a human body, there are, you know, there are five senses in us that is taste, smell, see, touch and hear. Right. So out of these five senses, three senses helps us developing a language in our mind that is see, touch and hear. And out of this, listening is the most important thing. That means uh, for example, if we take the case of babies, kids, okay, so we have to notice them how they are learning a language from us because they, they every time listening and they are noticing everything, they are good listeners. So we have to follow the same rule and I'm damn sure about all the institutions or all, all the language institutions, they follow these certain criteria, this kind of certain criteria to make their students fluent in English okay so in English Guru campus we also provide a certain type of listening practices and it is called listen on the go and that that is the time where when, when I give the, them those kind of activities that is the point where I get these kind of questions okay why 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 is these kind of uh, practices to be a fluent speaker okay so as I mentioned you know these senses help us in developing a language in our mind and uh, if we go further then I would say like there are two important areas in our brain that you know play a vital role in developing a language in our mind uh, that is you know Broca's area uh, in which uh, where, where the uh, the language production takes place and the next one is Wernick's area where the comprehension happens so whatever you are reading or whatever you are listening to that these two areas play a vital role uh, in developing that particular language in your mind and the input to these areas is that you have to listen a lot whatever language you want to learn you have to listen a lot and that is the only process which you know these two areas intake and provide you with a good output so by mentioning the all these things you know about the points that we discussed i hope you have understood the importance of the listening okay i i always suggest my students to do listening practices than speaking practices because we, we do like that we give priority to speaking practices it is not like that we have to be a good listener before starting speaking okay so the next question arises is that what is the right method to do the listening practices even if it is in the form of audio book video book whatever it is so the next question is what is the right method and how it is done okay so we will talk about that then the first point i have to raise is that choose an easy one okay whenever it comes to listening practice most of us have a tendency to select a complicated one okay for example uh, uh, some something like an interview from hollywood 
or uh, from a native speaker okay so uh, they they it, it will be very difficult and we might find it difficult to understand as well so the first thing is that whenever you do listening practices or whenever you want to do this listening practice select an easy one for and and also the important thing is uh, is that use simple words simple sentence okay so for example you can take me uh, as an example that is uh, do am i really using any complicated words no i don't want to use complicated words because if i use complicated words or you know unfamiliar things then you might find it difficult to understand but i don't want you to guys you know go through that i want you guys to understand whatever things i am saying you have to understand it clearly and and also one more thing that is uh whenever you do this um, listening practice the the most important thing is that about accent as well okay so if you are if you are comfortable with indian accent then you can go ahead with that you don't need to go to uh, you know go for a complicated uh, accent or the 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 video or audio which you can't understand that is not the way so the first point is that choose an easy one and the second point is that choose an interesting one you know whenever we learn something we should have an interest in that otherwise we are not it means that we are not enjoying that learning right so whenever you select an audio book or video lessons for these you know listening practices you have to make sure that it should be an easy one not a complicated one and it should be an interesting one for example whatever things you are interested in you have to go on with that but most of the people i i have experienced you know i have i have come across some certain certain people who always keep telling me like you know i have watched the video of that person uh, this person this vlogger this english uh, man okay so when i ask them are you really really interested in those persons or their ideas or topics then they would say no but this is the case of study right so uh, i i really like to watch those kind of videos but the point is that if you don't have any interest in watching those topics or those people then never watch that okay so the second point is that you have to choose an interesting topic the third point is that you have to listen to something helpful okay for example you can listen to some audios or videos related to financial management or communication skills time management relationship okay so these by watching these kind of videos uh, these 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 listening practice automatically will help you to become a better person and also your views and everything nowadays the social media is like you know they it influences us very much right so it will automatically make you a better person with a good vision and it will make you a good decision maker at the right time now the last point you know it is really important it is the point is do mindful listening okay i'll tell you one thing uh, we selected an easy one an interesting one and a helpful one okay so we did all this but the the main thing that we will come across is that the lack of concentration right i i know that even if we listen to or uh, if we, if we are watching or if we are listening to an audio book or video we can't concentrate on one thing more than 3 minutes or 4 minutes right so it happens it is natural right so i want you guys to take this practice this listening practice uh, it you should treat it like a meditation okay so when i say meditation i want to make it clear it is not about breathing in and breathing out okay uh, when when i when i say uh, meditation i am afraid of that you might be thinking like that okay it is not the meditation but you have to treat it like a meditation and uh, the important thing is that when when i say for example if i give you an opportunity to concentrate on your uh, breathing in and breathing out okay so let's take that as an example okay it's a good great example uh, that is if we concentrate on breathing in and breathing out after a while okay for example say 1 minute or 15 minutes if we are constantly concentrating on our breathing in and breathing out process it will either take you to the past it will or to the future right and it might be in the form of video picture whatever it is okay so whatever things we are doing it may happen so it is natural okay but when our mind get diverted okay so that means for example uh, when we were concentrating on our breathing in and breathing out process um, our mind 
took us to the past okay so at that point of time it means that your mind got distracted your mind got diverted into something else okay at that point of time we have to realize that my mind has got diverted and we have to catch it back and come again to the what the process we were doing okay that is the point you have to prove yourself that you have the ultimate authority of your mind okay and you have to try this i i would really recommend you and, and i i always tell my students to um try this one whenever you are you know you are concentrating on something try this okay it worked it has worked for me and thousands of my students as well so at that point of time when we recognize uh the, my, my mind has got diverted and when we try to catch it back again and coming to the uh, the same topic we were discussing that is called mindfulness so at that point of time then we can say yes we did it okay so these are some of the points that i want to raise um related to this listening practice and i want you guys to please understand that the importance of listening when it comes to english speaking not not only english speaking whatever languages you want to learn you have to give importance to listening okay so let's sum up and uh, i would like to summarize what were the topics that we uh, discussed that is the right method to do the listening is that the first point was choose an easy one and the next one was uh, choose an interesting one and the third one was listen to something helpful okay which makes you a better person okay so the uh, last but not the least was do mindful listening okay these are the points i have to raise and i want you guys to follow this whatever listening activities you are getting in english guru campus you have to do it without any uh, hesitation or whatever it is negative thoughts you shouldn't have any kind of negative thoughts on it so i wish you all the best thank you